Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Rob and today I'm gonna to be talking about what happens to our bodies if we do not exercise. I'm also gonna be talking about what happens for our bodies if we do. And finally, I'm gonna reveal some data that I believe all of us should know. And furthermore, if you know any friends or family members who don't really get the benefits of exercising, please do me a favor, do them a favor, copy this link and send them over this video. But other than that, without further ado, let's just get into the video. So I'm gonna assume that we all know the definition of exercising. That's not really something I need to cover, but I can't really assume that we all know the benefits of exercising. I myself have met many people who don't really see any benefit to exercising. So the question I ask myself when I hear that, well, I just ask myself, why is that? You know, with all the information that's on the internet and with all the Instagram influencers who are just flooding social media, in my mind, I would think that more people would be exercising. But I actually think it starts with the fact that, guess what? Exercising hasn't really been around that long. Think back to the 20s and 30s. Not too many people were exercising back then. Obviously, we had some things going on in the world at that time. But again, not many people exercising. Even think back to the 70s and 80s, yes, there was a surge of jogging and there was a surge of exercising, but when you look at the entire population, still not that many people were doing it. Even in the 90s, most of the people doing it in the 90s were just people who were just trying to inject themselves with steroids and build some muscle. And even today, even today, right now, you would think, again, more people would be exercising, but in fact, only 5% of our population works out 30 minutes a day. To me, that seems kind of ridiculous. And on top of that, researchers claim that by the year 2030, 53% of our population will be obese. And another reason why people may not know the benefits of exercising is because think back to the beginning, there wasn't much research to actually go off of. And there also was very limited access to this research as well. So people began feeling more doubtful and skeptical of the people who were preaching about the gym because they were only hearing information from people who are going to the gym. And a lot of people started associating going to the gym with just a vanity pursuit, right? They started actually associating it with dumb people. That's a stereotype that still kind of holds true today is a lot of people think that just dumb people go to the gym, right? And that's the reason for this video, okay? Because times have changed. We have all this information at our fingertips. We have research at our fingertips. And even though we have all this information, we'd still first need to understand where we are as human beings right now. Compared with our parents or grandparents, we are spending increasing amounts of time in environments that not only limit physical activity, but require prolonged sitting at work, at home, and in our cars and communities. From the 1950s to now, we have increased sedentary jobs by 83%. That is a huge increase, all right? Think about the people that are working right now. A lot of us are working these jobs that require us to sit for about eight hours a day. And then you have to get to and from work to where you're sitting in your car for an additional 30 to 60 minutes a day. And then most of us, when we get home, you know, we're either on our phones or we're watching TV. Guess what? You're sitting for a longer time doing that. Even if you go out with friends to a bar, you're sitting at a bar, right? So what I'm trying to say is that from the jump, we're starting in the hole. A lot of us are living this sedentary lifestyle, and I, I believe that a lot of us don't even really realize it. Even the people who say that they're fit and healthy say they work out 45 minutes to 60 minutes a day, but they do no cardio. They don't walk, jog, run. They don't do any of that. I would also say that those people are kind of living a sedentary lifestyle as well. And there are many problems to this, and these are the problems with a sedentary lifestyle. Sedentary behavior is closely linked to obesity. The most sedentary people had a 22 to 49% greater risk of early death. Sedentary behavior is consistently linked to more than 30 chronic diseases and conditions, including a 112% increase in your risk of type 2 diabetes and a 147% increase in heart disease risk. The only way to combat a sedentary lifestyle 
is by living an active lifestyle. Obviously, right, i.e. exercising. Um, you know, people are walking around right now as if we have a choice in the matter. When I hear that I have a higher risk of gaining 30 chronic diseases or I have a 49% increased chance of dying early if I live a sedentary lifestyle, to me, that's not really a choice. I can't really choose to live a sedentary lifestyle when I'm going to gain these diseases and when I'm probably going to die early as well. Again, to me, that's not a choice. It seems that our bodies actually require us to walk jog run and strain them with weights that's what it kind of seems like and so we know the downfalls of not exercising we know the downfalls of living a sedentary lifestyle now what are the actual benefits of exercising just explore exactly what it is that exercising does they're finding a surprising list of physical effects that go far beyond weight loss and muscle building these include increased insulin sensitivity, meaning a lower risk of type 2 diabetes, lower cholesterol levels, a better ratio of saturated to unsaturated fats, and biochemical markers of lowered cardiovascular risk. People who exercise regularly also have blood amino acid profiles linked to good heart health. And those are just some of the benefits of exercising, right? take note of the line of far beyond weight loss right they are moving way past weight loss as a proven benefit for exercising now it's not just our bodies right it's also our minds as well so what does the research say about our minds some benefits of physical activity include reduced short-term feelings of anxiety for adults it can also help keep your thinking learning and judgment skills sharp as you age it can also reduce your risk of depression and anxiety and also help you sleep better in short with exercise our bodies and minds they just simply work better and honestly looking at all this information i can definitely see how people don't believe it because it does all these benefits do kind of sound like some something a snake oil salesman would say they do actually sound like it's something that was concocted out of Glen Gary and Glen Ross, right? They seem pretty unbelievable, but again, times have changed, right? This thing is actually true. You don't actually have to believe in exercising anymore. We can actually take belief directly out of the conversation, just like we don't say, hey, you know, I believe in gravity. We just know gravity is there. Same thing for this we know that exercising is good for our bodies and it's good for our minds. We don't have to believe it anymore. And if you don't believe me, guess what? I put um, links down below in the description box for you so you can see the publications, you can see the research. And also even further, if you don't believe me, even after that, you can at least take the next 90 days and try it out. Because on top of all these benefits, it's also free.